Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Wali Khan. I've been a part of ICN for over 11 years now. And to me, ICN is more than just a masjid. It's a place where I come to find myself. A place of retreat and a place that has given me a tremendous sense of belonging. And it all began here 25 years ago at 450 Olsen Drive. What began with 30 families, alhamdulillah, has grown to 3,500. We were uh, gathering at people's homes to pray Isha and in the beginning we uh, had one week at one home and the other week on another home and another week another home then we decided it was getting too confusing so when the opportunity came we, uh, <coughs> we uh, uh, just grabbed it and uh, this was brother Zaki Shamsi who pointed out that a church was for sale and we formed a, uh, an ad hoc committee to pursue uh, fundraising and uh, and creating the bylaws and all that. So it took us about uh, nine months to a year before uh, we finally closed in the summer of uh, 1991. ICN uh, school had the vision to allow students to attend school in spite of the fact they could not afford the full tuition because they wanted to be part of ICN community. And now the conditions have changed and those students, I see them part of the different committees, different youth activities, girls club, boys club, everything. And I really get very thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the vision ICN had. Students from the ICN full-time school also went to the weekend school which was held on Saturday. And a uh, few years later, they were teaching over there as teacher's assistant in the class. Says so later on, they got married and they have children and now those children are coming to the ICN full-time school. And this cycle would be repeating itself so that the students who are now will have their own children 25 years from now coming to ICN school again. So I moved to Naperville when I was about eight years old. Um, probably since then I've been involved in ICN in different capacities from girls club to weekend school. Um, then growing up it became ICN youth, college, Qiyams, that kind of thing. Um, there's something comforting about growing up as a Muslim in America in a public school and then having this community that's um, so focused on catering to its youth and has so much importance of improving itself to cater to the next generation. Um, I recently had the honor of getting my nikah done under this very roof at ICN and I honestly couldn't have asked for a better place than something that I would probably consider my second home growing up. Um, ICN is kind of probably the place I would love to have my children grow up in and be raised in that kind of community and that kind of environment. And uh, who knows, maybe one day, inshallah, they will. We purchased the facility on Ogden in 2007 and immediately witnessed an exponential growth. With that growth came the need for various programs and activities to better serve the needs of this rapidly growing community. This is the 21st year of ICN full-time school and we've seen such a growth, alhamdulillah. Throughout the years, we've seen a demand to expand our grades, but our challenge was the lack of space. Now, with the new building, we'll fulfill the needs of the community. We have a highly qualified staff, competitive secular curriculum, 
and our Quran, Islamic studies, and the introduction of the Arabic language has made it a well-rounded environment for our students. Parents truly are getting the best of both worlds, alhamdulillah, and the word is getting out. We have parents that are coming from as far as Hanover Park and Frankfurt to enroll their children in our school. And the next generation who graduated from Islamic schools or went to ICM themselves are now bringing their children. So we are seeing an expansion, alhamdulillah. If I could describe FTS in one word, it would be family. The years that I have been here, I am touched with the support of the parents and the community, without which we would have gotten to where we are now. And with that continued support and the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are looking forward to a bright future in our new building, inshallah. One of the biggest accomplishments of ICN has been the establishment of Al-Falah Academy, the weekend school which has over 500 enrolled students. ICN Al-Falah Academy is beyond just a weekend school. We are the community that instills brotherhood and sisterhood and enlist the genuine love of Islam and love of Allah. Our philosophy is if our students have the love of Islam, the learning will come automatically, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, we have more than 500 students. Excellent programs that we offer, our youth program, we invite guest speakers, students go out, do the community projects. This year we introduced new Arabic program and the Connections program. Alhamdulillah, we are pleased to include a program for special needs children at the al Fala Academy to benefit them with Islamic education. Also, we are blessed to have excellent team that allows us to make the progress every year. We, the growth in our community, in our school, is due to the excellent programs that we are offering so the students are enrolling and registering to ICL Al-Fala Academy. We rent this facility at 204. Every year we have to apply for get this facility, but we are dependent on this contract every year. We hope that this new project that ICN is undertaking, the 248 project, will allow us to have our own school so our children can enjoy the nice new facility. We need all the parents' help, everyone to participate in this project, so inshallah we will have our own school. ICM's biggest focus has always been our youth. We believe they will shape the future of the community. Our full-time youth director, Umar Hadruj, keeps them engaged through various activities, such as weekly halaqas to strengthen their iman, service projects to give back to the community, and safe spaces to bond and build friendships that will last a lifetime, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, the ICN Scouting Committee continues to grow with 55 Boy Scouts and we are proud of our troops achievement of producing three Eagle Scouts in the short span of just three years. Alhamdulillah, our Cub Scouts made a great impression at the Open Mosque Day by performing sign language of the Adhan. The Girl Scouts are a vibrant group of 78 girls with a number of activities from planting flowers at the fire department to donating refreshments to the police department and hosting an interfaith event with other Girl Scout troops. ICN strives to be an all-inclusive community by having specific programs for the elderly sisters through Ummahatul ICN. This group arranges for fun trips and social gatherings to make sure that all of our sisters are included in such activities. We are working with Muhsin to make families with special needs feel welcome with social hour every week in our gym. 
ICN is also proud of our latest addition to our library, a copy of the Quran in Braille. We also have a very strong support group for our convert brothers and sisters through Learn Islam classes, as well as Eid dinners and social events. Alhamdulillah, the Quran and Sunnah are the primary drivers of everything we do here at ICN. Our Tahfizul Quran, led by Sheikh Ismail, has graduated 24 Hufad, and our evening Quran program, led by Sheikh Ahmed Saeed, has over 60 students. We all need reminders from the Quran and Sunnah to follow the straight path. And Sheikh Luzwan meets this need with his regular dars, halaqat, family counseling, and various programs that he offers in Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, we see growing numbers of people in Ramadan for tarawih prayer, daily iftar, and the participation in itikaf is growing as the years go by. When ICN was established 25 years ago, the biggest challenge facing the community was finding a place to pray and a convenient source for halal food. With changing times came new challenges. With a growing trend of Islamophobia and general intolerance, the ICN Dawa Committee and the Political Engagement Committees have stepped up and expanded their outreach to overcome these challenges. The Open Mosque Day brought in over 1,000 guests, including the mayor of the city of Naperville. We had a Meet the Candidates event where a number of representatives running for national and local offices addressed the ICN community. Our Get Out the Vote campaign strove to get 4,000 registered voters before elections. We have reached hundreds of people just this year with presentations on Islam in schools, colleges, churches, and synagogues. Our very own Sheikh Rizwan had the distinct honor of giving the invocation at the Illinois House of Representatives. Hi, my name is Tom Cordaro. I'm the Justice and Outreach Minister at St. Margaret Mary Catholic Church here in Naperville. And I've had the pleasure of working with the Islamic Center of Naperville for well over 10 years now in various capacities in interfaith work here in the community of Naperville. And the Islamic Center has been a, in the forefront of working to improve interfaith relationships here in Naperville. Uh, we are glad to have them as partners in the work that we do, particularly in the work of, uh, of world peace and of working for justice, uh, social justice in particular. Uh, we find that our Muslim neighbors are just as passionate and just as concerned as we are in the Christian world with issues which really affect community life and, uh, and civil and human rights, not only in this country, but around the world. Uh, so we are very, very happy to work with them in all kinds of capacities. And whenever I come to the Islamic Center, I always feel welcome. And uh, I'm always grateful for the hospitality that they show me. but we have a lot more to do and our job is not done. To build a stronger community for our next generation, we need to continue to cultivate and expand our efforts, which basically means we need more space. We owe it to our children to leave behind a legacy they will be proud of. So please join us as we lay the foundation for generations.